Hello and welcome to my next playthrough in solitaire mode of Memoir 44. Today we're looking at Scenario 6 from the base game. This is Mon Moucher, June the 10th, 1944. The Germans are trying to take out a whole load of French resistance. And as you can see, it's hilly and woody out there. A few interesting things to note is I've removed the ambush card because that doesn't work with the solitaire game. But special over here you can see there's two German tank units with four figures each that's their only special ability as it were the fact that they've got one extra unit and of interest is that all the allied units here only have three figures that's because they're they're not a standard unit they are resistance fighters they also have the special ability that if a flag is rolled against them they can retreat up to three hexes one two or three when they pull back, which is really significant. It means you can pull one unit back out of trouble. It's the first of four medals today. Allies get to move first and with five cards. So let's have a look. Firefight. Four units can open fire with a benefit. Good. Ah, all right, one on the right. Counterattack. can't use that the first turn. Ah, now that's going to be a good start, one in each. Okay, one more card for the Allies. Two in the centre. Well, I'm inclined to go with one in each immediately because uh, all the, well, all except this one here, start out in the open. And if they can get under cover, that'll be good. So there you go, one in each. That's what we're starting with. So... First thing I'm going to do is jump these guys forward. They won't be able to attack, but they're now in cover. I'm also, these guys count as in the middle, so I'll move them onto the hill, which gives them cover. And over here on the right, there's those tanks to worry about, but if I get the infantry into the trees, then the tanks are at minus two, which evens things up a wee bit. So once again, I think I'm going to take these guys forward into the trees here. So no attacks, yeah, no attacks, but it does mean that everybody's moved up into a good defensive position. So replacement card, two in the middle, okay. So now I draw two cards for the Axis forces and choose the best one. All right, wow, three on the left or two on each wing? Well, there are two over there I could use. There are definitely two over there I could use. And there are three units over here I could use. The problem is those tanks are hopeless against wood, so I think it's pretty much a waste of time moving them, even though they do look really useful. But having said that, there's a lot of infantry out in the open still. To be honest, I think I'm better with the two on each, each wing. So that's what I'm going to go with. So I've got two over here I can move. So I'm going to move these guys one so they can attack these chaps in the wood. They could have gone here, but then they would have been open to attack from here as well. So the follow-up would next turn would have been bad. But I'm going to jump these Germans forward. One, two into the town. So now they're on an even par with these guys. Plus there's this advantage here. So that's those two on that side. I think what I'll do here is I'll move these guys forward and into the woods. So they're even Stevens with these guys. And I'm going to bring... My tanks can move three. One, two, three. Which means next turn they can maybe get round here. Or I could bring them around the back... They have to stop in the woods for now, but I could put them in the woods so that next turn they could go one, two, three, and then attack. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll get them across this wood line. So they move into the woods and stop for now. But that means I've got one attack over here, which would be three dice against those in the woods, but it's only two dice because they're attacking into woods. So two dice. Double tanks. So the first shot of the game is a miss for the allies, uh, for the Axis forces. Okay, so now 
it's time to choose what to do. Now I've got two, two in the middles, which means I could make a plan to keep using those in the middle. Oh, I've got counter-attack which I can use now, which means I'd get two on each flank, because that's what the Axis forces just played. And I've got, got that one there in the woods. You can get a nice shot, plus I can move one of these that are in the open and susceptible to those oncoming tanks. Hmm. And then over here, there's actually only one, but he has got a shot on those guys out in the open. So I'm playing counter-attack, I am. I am definitely playing that. So two on each flank. So over here will be those in the woods and these guys, which I'll move on to the hill, which gives me a stronger position to protect against any attacks from this side. And over here, I've only got one unit, so it'll be this unit. So over here, we got an attack from here to here, which would be three, but we're all in the woods, so it's only two dice against the German infantry. And one hit. One hit, so one German unit comes off the board. And over here, we got a good three dice from the woods out to those in the open. So three dice. And two hits and a, a worn out flag. So that's a retreat. So two hits come off. And these guys have to retreat now. So I'll push them this way. Three, two, one. Uh, no, I'll retreat them this way. So only this one can attack them. If I put them there, it's these guys. Okay, let's go with those two German figures. <clears throat> right, and replace the card. Hmm, three on the right. There's only one on the right, damn it! Okay, Anxious Forces get two cards. Oh, one in each. That's going to be hard to beat. Oh, behind enemy lines. One infantry unit may move three hexes, battle with an additional die, and then move another three hexes. Wow, that's that's actually amazing. But which German infantry would I want to do that with? Wow, that one in the middle there is kind of exposed, but look at this, I could go one, two, three, blam this thing and then move on from here another three spaces okay right round behind here but these are gang up on me but I could come down here give that one a hit because he's in the open and then jump into the woods here which gives me it would mean he's he's then surrounded as it were but he would be in defensive terrain I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go with the behind enemy lines. I think that's certainly more interesting than one in each. Okay, so this guy, one, two, three, attacks with one additional die, which means he gets four dice on these three men. So it could be a medal. <laughs> oh dear, flag now, allied retreat. He can move one, two, or three. Well, I'm going to move him two, because that gets him into the protective woods. But this German unit can now move three more spaces. So which, what's going to be the best for that? I think I'm going to put them here, because it'll act as a distraction for the Allied forces, I think. Certainly pushed you know, well into their line, hasn't it? So, right. I can't believe that's such a wasted card. Right, okay. So, what cards have I got here to play for the Allies? Now, I've got Firefight. So, any four units... Ah, must not be adjacent. Okay, well... I've got this guy here. He's adjacent. These are adjacent. I've only got one unit over there that can attack. It's not really the right time to use that card, but I have got two in the middle. Or three on the right, but I've only got one card. Or one on the right, which lets me choose two cards and take the best one next turn. Hmm. 
one or two in the middle. Well, that's looking really inviting now because I've set up this axis unit to get itself demolished now, haven't I? I thought I was being clever, but now I look at it from the other side. As the allies, I can now get two attacks. Hmm. And I could follow that up because I've got two of these cars. I can make two attacks on this guy and then possibly get another two attacks on him next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Two in the middle. And these guys who I just moved back here will now move forward because they're working in concert with these guys. So it's these two. This one first, two dice into the woods. One hit. Right, so one hit on the woods. Now the second unit will attack, which will be two dice again. Oh, two hits. So that's a total of three hits on that chap now. I thought I was so clever when I put him in the woods. I've punished myself now, haven't I? Ah uh, dear. Right, so let's replace this card. Two more in the middle. Okay, now it's time for Axis forces to do something meaningful. Two on the left. Really needs something in the middle. Armour assault. Issue an order up to four units. Stay close assault with one additional die. Well, I've got two armour units there. But at the moment, if they... This guy could attack to here, get to here rather, then attack here, or, or attack here. But they only close assault. So if I moved them there, yes, he could attack here with an extra hit, or attack here with an extra die. But in both cases, he's still only getting two dice. Or I could go here and attack here with three dice. But at the same time, I'd then I'd do the same as I've done, done here. I'd end up leaving him stuck between two enemies. That is not a good idea. No. I don't think the armoured assault is really that that useful. Now having said that, my other alternative is two on the left. Which is like tanks and that infantry. Well that infantry can attack the infantry next to them. But you know what? I'm going to move these tanks. So I'm playing the two on the left. I'm going to move these tanks to here. I was going through the woods, but I think that'll leave them marooned and on their own. But from here, they can get a die onto these guys. And so that's them ordered and them ordered. Yeah, let's get these cards out of the way. So this is just a standard two on the left. So. Uh, the tanks will get one die and the infantry will get two. I'll do the two first because if I rolled the one and then got a flag, I wouldn't be able to get my second attack and there's less chance of getting a flag. Uh, well, not really. <laughs> but I'll have a bigger hit. So I'll do that. From the infantry to the infantry in the woods. And that'll be two there's me saying about the flag. There she is. So a miss and one flag. If these guys pull back here, they're going to be eligible to be shot by the tank still. So they could go here. Actually, they can go three. They could go one, two, all the way to the town. I don't want to be in the open because they get smashed by the tanks. So I'm going to go back into the town here with that retreat. And that means the tanks don't get their shot. Allied turn. Hmm. In the middle or on the right? Well, there is only that one unit on the right. But he has got two dice. Okay, so... If I play a card on the right, I've got one attack, which could be two dice on those two men on their own. 
The alternative is to go for, well, two in the middle. And I do have two in the middle. I've actually got three in the middle now. I've got two in the middle here that could both attack that solitary soldier. That's the best bet. There'll be another two in the middle. So, two dice from both of these. So, this one first, two dice. And there's a grenade there. That counts as a hit. So, that's the first allied medal. I made a bad decision when I moved him there, I think. Okay, let's replace that card. Air power. Well, at the moment, air power is good against bunches of enemies. Well, there's two over there by the town, and some back there in the woods. But let's see what the ally uh, Axis forces get. Okay, dig in so I could put sandbags on somebody. Well, at the moment, there's no allies that are in a strong position that I'd want to sandbag. Sorry, not allies, Axis. So it looks like I'm going to be a probing in the middle. Well, that gives me a choice of three units. That tank unit could move forward a bit. Or I could move one of those at the back there forward. So they could start attacking those on the hill. I really need to get the Axis forces into a position where they can overwhelm like I did here these two units attack the one unit in the woods I need to do the same from the axis point of view I mean over here I could move those tanks forward just a smidge so they could start trading shots with the infantry in the town but it will just that could go either way really I mean uh, oh, there's nowhere to do the overwhelming thing I'm playing one in the middle. I don't know, it, it's it's a tricky, I can't see a good option here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to advance these guys into the woods, ready so that they can make a leap forward perhaps to this town on a subsequent turn. The problem is the, the Axis forces are all split up now, except these guys. But I must try and remember I did a probe, so I get to draw an extra card for the Axis forces next turn. So this turn, I've uh, just successfully split up that group at the back there, so the air power card won't be so useful. In fact, the air power could hit that one over on the right. Or I could do three on the right, but I've only got one unit on the right. One on the right, I've only got one unit on the right. But that one over there... Can get two dice onto that unit with only two men. And the other alternative is uh, well, there's two in the middle, but there's not a lot the ones in the middle can do. Or the firefight. Any four units that are not in uh, are not adjacent to an enemy, and they roll an additional die. Oh. Three, two, one, zero. So they could get one die from here to here. Uh, three, two, one. So they get one die on them. And they'd get three, two, three dice on them. That's the one I'm going for. I'm actually, now is the time to use the firefight. You get one additional die. Up to four units. So unit number one over here. Would be three, two, one, minus one, because they're in the woods, zero, but add one, they get one die against those in the woods. Uh, it's a miss. The next one I said was here. So three, two, one, minus one, because they're in the woods, becomes one. So that's one die against those Germans way, way over there. And it's a hit. So we lose one more German figure from there. And over here, three, two, becomes three again. Three dice on those two out in the open there. And it's two hits and a retreat. Two hits is enough for medal. That makes two medals. And I only had that 
strategical disaster down here to account for one of those. So one of these is legit. Okay. All right, replacement card. <laughs> They're all building up on the right now. That's because I haven't been using them. Axis forces, they had a probe last time, so they get to choose between three cards. Ah, two on the right, two on the left, or all infantry in one section who can move two and still battle. Well, that means there's one unit on the left, or well, these two in the middle. They can move two and battle. Actually, that, that might be the overwhelming thing I was looking for. So they could move one, two, and battle. These guys could go one, two, and battle. And they, at that point, they're doing the ganging up thing that I wanted. I'm doing that straight away. So this is an infantry assault. Okay. All infantry in one section. Well, that's all of them. And I'll start with the nearest guys. Which will be two dice, because it's minus one because they're on the hills. Let's get these out of the way. So, two dice attack up onto the hill for one hit. And now this would be three, two, minus one. Oh, it's only one die against the hill. But that too is a hit. So this unit is now in trouble. Okay. So that's a good job. They had a choice of cards there. Okay, so now allied turn again. Two in the middle. Oh, I've got that air power now. And there are two units stuck together. <sighs> or all those cards on the right for that one unit. Mind you, that one unit could move on to the hill now and get a, a pot shot of that unit over there. I'll do that. Why not? What does that air power do? Two battle dice against it, both of those. If I move the infantry across, that'll give me two dice only against one unit. But if I play the air power, I'm getting two dice against two units. Air power! Air power. Okay, so two dice against this unit first. A hit and a retreat. So a hit, put them on the red line so they can go for the middle or that side. Two dice against these guys. Two hits. Wow, that's not looking good for the Axis forces all of a sudden. Hmm, and a replacement card. Okay, three in the middle. All right, Axis forces need to pull off a bit of a miracle now. All on the left, or one in the middle. I have three, no, two only on the left now. One in the middle. If I use the one in the middle, I could eliminate that one chap on the hill. Possibly. I've got two dice on him at the moment. I could withdraw one and only have one die. But that'd also get him out of danger. And give him a chance of a kill. If I stay there, I've got two dice, so one more die to attack him with. But then his friend over in the woods there can come over and waste me. I think I'm going to do the one in the middle, because it's also a probe. Uh, and he's going to move one away, which means it'd be three, two dice, one die. But it may be all he needs. One die on the guy on the hill. Ugh. Curses. Hang on, that's the bad people. That's the other side. Uh, I mean, hooray! Okay, so that wasn't good. 
but they get to use two cards next time. Bow. So back to allies, not bows. Um, three cards from the right where I've got one unit. Three in the middle. Two in the middle, three in the middle, or on the right. Well, that one on the right is useless, but three in the middle means I can maybe do something. I've got these units here. See, those tanks are actually quite susceptible to infantry. But what I'm thinking is maybe moving up these, these guys down here. I can move them up and move that guy on his own down because he's in danger now. It only takes one hit to make that a medal. So now I'm going to do that. Three in the middle. Be this chappy on the hill who's going to do a runner and these two down here who are going to advance. So I'll pull him back to here. And these guys will jump into these woods, and these guys will jump into the woods. So we're pushing the line forward, as it were. And draw another card. Okay, infantry assault. Hmm, okay. And I'm pretty sure, yep, it was a probe for the axes last time, so they get an extra card. One on the left, another probe, or three on the left. Well, there's only two on the left. But once again, I, I can take advantage to bring these forward. So I'm going to do that. One, two. Oh, hang on. I haven't decided which card I'm using. <laughs> One or three. Well, there's only two I can move. But if I move that infantry forward on their own, they're then susceptible to... If I move them into these woods, they're susceptible to attacks from here. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just playing one on the left at the moment, which again will be to move the tanks from here, that one, two, and into these woods. So then I'll have two units that hopefully can work together. So what I did with the other tanks, I moved them forwards into these woods. Okay, so that's a probe for the Axis forces. Yeah, there's nothing they can attack. Allied, infantry assault. All infantry one section, move to and battle. I've actually got potentially four units here who could move to and battle, which means these chaps could charge up here, attack him, but then they'd be out in the open. Oh, hang on, they could move up onto that hill and still attack him and be on a hill. What else could I do? I've got these guys on the red line here. They can move up to three hexes, but again, if they go there, they're going to get swamped. But if they stay here, these tanks could... Oh. Three hexes. Hang on, hang on. If I can move all infantry in one section, I can move these guys to here, move these guys one, two, to here, move these guys to here, and they're not alone at that point, because uh, these guys can move into here and they can all support each other. That might be the best way. Yeah, infantry assault then. So two and battle, or three and not battle. So they move there. No, they don't. So these ones move on to the hill. That's right. One, two, three. And this guy over here moves forward into the woods. Now, when you go into a town, cannot battle. But that means these guys out here on the hill can battle. So they can attack this guy. So three, two dice against that guy there. Okay. And a hit and a retreat. But a hit is sufficient to get a medal. This is a one-way battle today. And I think that may be because I'm playing the Axis forces particularly badly. Quite possibly. Right, so replacement card for the Allies. One on the right. So I now have four cards to play that one guy on the right. 
I think I need to start playing them. So Axis Forces, they had a probe again, so they get to draw three cards and pick the one they want. Ooh, direct from HQ, any four, Armoured Assault, or two on the left. Well, I think the Armoured Assault or the four units of my choice. The Armoured Assault means in close assault they get an additional die. Now normally tanks suffer from minus two dice into any kind of terrain. But they get an additional die if... Yeah, you see, I'm not in a position to get a strong close assault, because I was thinking these two could move down and round here, and then they could both close assault this, potentially. But if it's not eliminated, that leaves that tank unit in the open, pinned between these two. Which wouldn't be good. Plus this tank unit, which would be this one, would then be possibly susceptible to attacks from here and here. The tanks are, are good in the open, but in this close terrain, not so good. Okay, so let's say I don't use that, and I use the direct from HQ, which lets me pick four units of my choice. So I could attack from the town over here. I could move that infantry up and make an attack. And then I could still do something over here. I've got that infantry. These, the tanks don't have to get in close. They can stand off at a range of three and still get one die into a town. Yeah, okay, I'm doing the four units of my choice. Four units of my choice. So I need to do something. So what I'll do is I'll move this, these tanks back here. And the reason they're going back here is because that puts them at maximum range to attack here. Three, three dice, because it's a town down to one die. But these guys attacking back would only get one die as well. And I've actually got one more unit, so potentially better. I want, I want to get dice on. Okay, similar situation here. I'm going to try and do the same thing here. Not knock over too many tanks. If I move these guys into this space here, they've got a long range attack on here. Again, it's four to three. So odds are the Germans should get their back. So that's one, that's two. You know, I played the Allies quite well here, because they're, they're in a line like this, around here. Which means this guy can't really move forward without putting himself into a position where he's attacked from two. But I can attack from the town into the woods. Yeah. So, tanks, tanks... And these guys over in the woods, I don't think there's anything else I want to do with my fourth unit. So let's start over here. Three, two, because it's in woods, down to one die from here to here. And a miss. The tanks attacking this town here to try and break this gap up. Uh, that'll be one die against them from the tanks. And that's a hit. Tanks have done something useful. And... These tanks against this hill, one die. And it would have killed a tank. So all that got one hit. Okay. Well, guess what I'm going to do now. I've got all these cards for on the right. So the best one to play will be a probe. That means uh, 
I, I have got two units on the right, but I don't want to touch that one at the back. He's tucked in there quite nicely. So, at the moment I only have one unit. I'm going to do that because that gives me a chance to choose from two next turn. So, one on the right. It'll be attacked from here into the town, which will be one die. And that's a hit. So that reduces the axis by one there. And a replacement card. <laughs> More on the right. It's definitely one of those on the right kind of a days. Definitely. Okay, axis forces. Uh, I think they did four, didn't they? So they only get two cards this turn. Two in the middle. Or all in the middle. Well, it's going to be all in the middle. Out of that choice. But there is, in fact, only one in the middle. He's going to continue the tank attack against the town. That'll be one die. And it's a retreat. Do I want to retreat him? If I pull him back, I can pull him back into these woods here or these woods here. But what's the position? Is... Hmm, I've got to move back regardless. See, neither of these is particularly good because it leaves a slight gap in the line. The fact that they were supporting each other here was and here was really good. If I pull, pull them back to here, that leaves him more exposed. Or if I pull them back to here, then that's that one more exposed. I'll stick with that. I'll stick with that in the woods for the moment. Um, so it was all in the middle. That meant that infantry on the red line there could attack. Three, two, one against the hill. Minus one because they're on a hill. So no. However, I could move them still. They're exposed out there. I'm going to uh, use that order as well to move those guys over there. I should have done that before I rolled the attack, but there we go. I'm just a cheat. Right, so what did I play last time? Was that a probe? No. Nope. Um, two in the middle, or something on the right. Well, there's only one unit to attack with on the right. What can I do in the middle with two? I could move that unit of two men back. No, nope, I know. Two in the middle. Straight away, I'm going to put the stronger unit back in here. And I'm going to move these guys up to replace them. So I keep my fairly strong line here. You can see my line now runs right along here. Which is quite a good strong defensive position, meaning I can double up on anybody who exposes themselves. So I don't really want to ruin that. But that does mean I don't get any attacks because I moved two. So, never mind. Replacement card. Barrage. It's all going a uh, allied way today. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. Ah, uh, Axis. Ooh, finest hour. Oh, three in the middle. Well, they've got two in the middle. Hmm, what can I do with those two in the middle, though? Well, from where they are, they can now both attack that allied unit in the town. Which means uh, I could try and whittle that unit down, much like I did those that are now on the hill. Now, finest hour is a bit dodgy because you can end up, you roll the dice to see which, which units you're going to use. So for each type of unit that appears on the die, you get to move a unit. But if I rolled all tanks, I wouldn't be able to do anything with my infantry forces. And vice versa, of course. And the odds of rolling tanks is pretty low, to be honest. Three in the middle. 
I think is a more sure bet. And as I only have two in the middle, uh, I'm going to order those two. Starting with the infantry and attack against the town, one die into that town from the infantry, and that's a hit. And the tanks likewise into the town, one die. And that too is a hit. So that unit advanced and got somewhat mauled. Right, time for some revenge for the Allies. And that barrage card is looking very juicy compared to everything else. Four battle dice against one unit of my choice. So who's that going to be? And I've got two reduced infantry units. And it's potential to kill either of those with four dice, which would mean I hit four medals here. Plus the tank's are pretty useless anyway at the moment, so I don't think I need to worry about them. The chances of killing one of them with a barrage is nil. Uh, that guy's in trouble, so I'm going to attack that infantry in the woods with four dice. That means that he's called in uh, artillery support for his battle in the woods. And I get precisely one hit with four dice. That's criminal. Okay. Alright. Replacement card for the Allies. Move out! Order four infantry units. Any four infantry units. Okay. Axis turn. They could be on to their, getting their medal now. Ooh! Medic and mechanics means uh, you get to roll dice and possibly heal one of your units. Now I've got two damaged infantry units. But it does mean I miss out on opportunities to attack. Or I can issue an order to four infantry units. Well, I've actually got three that are in range to make an attack. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to take the attacks rather than the heal. And I have three units. So all three infantry units are ordered to attack. Um, yeah. Now I notice these guys can't actually hit anybody for anything. 3, 2, 1, minus 1 for the woods, nothing. 3, 2, 1, minus 1 for the... T oh. Okay, 3, 2, minus 1. One die on here from the woods. Could be a medal. And it is. It's an Axis medal time. And these guys, 3, 2, minus 1. So it's 1 against these guys. And they roll a tank. Using their Panzerfaust against infantry. It never works, I tell you. Hmm. Okay, at least the Axis have got on the board now. So, allied. Four infantry of my choice. Or something on the right. And there's really only that one unit on the right. So, I'm going to play the four infantry. Which will be this one, because they get a pot shot across here. I only need one more medal and he needs three, so that may be a factor here. If I move the whole lot, I can get into a position to do a lot of attacks next turn. So I can uh, order four. So I've done this one over here, I've declared, is going to fire. How about this then? So there's number two. There's number three, there's number four. No attacks, but they've all moved up and forced the Axis forces position, as it were. So there'll be this attack over here, which will be one die against the Germans in the town. And it's fired a Panzerfaust as well. OK, replacement card, three in the middle. Oh, three in the middle could be useful. Right, Axis. Or on the right, where there's only one, or two. Okay, it makes no difference. Um, attack against the, from those in the town to those in the woods, one die. 
and it's a hit. So this allied unit is getting whittled. Right. I feel like we're uh, rushing towards the end of the fight here. Now I've got three in the middle or something on the right. Well, once again, there's only that one on the right to do anything. Or three in the middle. I actually have three in the middle. Hmm. Okay, now there's something interesting here what I could do. The French infantry are able to move into woods and still battle. It's down here on the forest car where it actually says that. So what I could do here is I could advance these guys on the tanks. This is the three in the middle car, by the way. Let me put that over to the side. And we've got this fight from the town to the woods over there. So I'm not going to move the others. So there will be an attack from here to here, an attack from here to here. So that's one die against those in the woods. And it's a hit. And two dice against the tanks from this infantry. And it's one hit. One tank. I mean, that's not brilliant, but look. They're pushing the. Uh, this is a bit like the original battle of Montmartre, where the uh, the Germans were pushed back into their starting position. This line of um, forces is sort of pushing forwards and pushing the uh, Axis forces back. Intriguing. Let's get these figures out of the way. Okay, replacement card. <laughs> it's all going to be on the right next turn. Ay ay ay. Okay, Axis forces, three in the middle, counter-attack. So they can do three in the middle or counter-attack, three in the middle. Well, be these two, not a lot of choice in it. Uh, this one's going to attack here, first of all, which will be just the one die. And a miss. And the tanks will attack this unit. No. It'd be better if they reduce this one, I think, because there's this second unit helping attack. So, one die against these guys. And it's a hit. So that paid off, as it were. Allied. Now. It's a lot on the right here. So, probe because it gives you a better choice of cards for next turn. On the right, an attack against that town, one die. And it's a hit. It's another Axis force removed. Replacement card. Two in the middle. Oh, actually, that was a probe, wasn't it? So they get a choice of two. So I could take two in the middle, or two on the right. Which one would I have? The two in the middle, I think, is best, because one unit on his own I could get a kill so I'll discard this two on the right axis forces cut whoa one in each or close assault close assault gets you an additional battle die but I've only got one unit in close assault alternatively I can make three attacks with one in each section well that's what I'm doing three attacks one in each section over here from the town into the woods, one die, and it's a hit. In the middle, doesn't matter who makes the attack here, but they're attacking this guy, so it could be the infantry or the tanks. One die on the woods, a retreat. Can't go there, you can go there or there, go there. If they, if they went there, then the tanks could sweep in and maul them effectively. Um, one attack on the right uh, will be two dice from here to here. And one hit. Okay, so everyone is getting seriously mauled. 
everyone's getting hurt. Could be a lot of medals going down this turn. So I've got two in the middle, or on that one guy over there on the right. Two in the middle. Well, this is what I set up for, I think. Um, I've got two dice on the tanks from here and two dice on the infantry from here. So these and this. First attack against the tanks, two dice. And one hit. That big old tank unit's getting reduced. And two dice on this infantry here. And one retreat, would you believe. So they're just going to retreat and stay in the woods. Okay, allies. Two in the middle, or that one guy on the right. What am I doing? I've just done allies. Cheating. Cheating myself. It's Axe's turn. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah, artillery bomber. Two in each for Axe's forces. Uh, yeah. Well, that, that should be quite easy, shouldn't it? Um, well, it should be, but isn't. Two on the right, well, there's only one. He makes his one die attack on here, which could be a medal. And is. Suddenly the tide is turning. It's two to three now. Two in the middle. There'll be a... There's nothing for that infantry in the woods there. So the tank will make an attack against the infantry in the woods here. One die. And it's a miss. And then over here, I could advance, I, I can order two, so I'm going to order the infantry to move forward and the tanks will fire against the woods here for one die. And it's a miss. I don't want to be in them tanks, I tell you. Now it's the Allied turn. Two in the middle, or that guy on the right. Uh, that guy on the right's gone. So all these right-hand cards are useless. Two in the middle. <clears throat> and uh, okay move them forward and this guy so this guy attacks the tanks for two so slight possibility of a medal here and one hit the grenade counts as a hit against tanks okay and I moved into the town by moving two, so there's no attack there. Placement card for the allies. Oh, oh, on the left, one on the left, isn't that handy? Um, Axis, all on the left, or three on the left? Well, all on the left then. Okay, first thing, two dice from the German infantry into this hex here. Hopefully get a kill and no retreats. Got a kill and a retreat. Now I'm allied and everything for me is on the right or one on the left. So oh, one on the left, I'll keep him left. I could have gone here to the middle, but I've got no cards for that. Right. <clears throat> but he's seriously injured now. Not good. And the tanks still have to fire. Which would be one more die on here, actually. Yeah, because that was him attacking, forced to retreat. He hasn't attacked. If I'd been thinking, perhaps I could have retreated him to here. One, two, three. Yeah, if I'd have retreated him to here, the tanks wouldn't have... I ah, see, that was a bad decision on my part. Okay, one die against that guy on the hill from the tanks. And it's another retreat, and guess what I'm going to do with that? Yay! <laughs> All right. So again, following real life, it looked like the uh, the French resistance were pushing the Germans back to their start line, but now it's starting to go the other way. Axis turn. Oh, I may end up shuffling the cards at this rate. Three on the right. Oh. <laughs> um. So I've got one guy on the right. I could move him into the woods, but 
that would leave him liable to be attacked by two units. Next turn. I mean, what advantage have I got in moving forward? It's a war of attrition, and they only need me, the Allies, only need one more medal. Is it worth pulling back on this side? I'm not sure it's worth doing anything like that because I'm so weak everywhere else. Having said that, I've got these two solid units over here. Yeah. I'm not going to move him. I'm not going to move him. I think the, the odds of me losing uh, are too great. From an Axis point of view. I, I can move but not get an attack. So I'm not sure there's an advantage in that. Allied. So one on the left or none on the right effectively. So, And the one on the left is smashed. He's, he doesn't want to move. Um, but it will be a probe. One on the left. Oh, man. Again, I can move him forward, but he's going to get pounced on by two. It's just it's just a useless card. Useless card. It was a probe, so I've got a choice of the last two. Four of my choice are all in the middle. Guess what? It's four, four of my choice. Okay. Um, right, so you'll have to... Um, Watch the game board for a second while I do a quick shuffle of the cards so I can draw the axis. There you go, ground level view for you. It's not very exciting, I have to say. Yeah. There. Is that more exciting? There's tanks over there. <laughs> and one more shuffle, there we go. And back up and into my hand. And two cards to be drawn for the Axis side. Wow. It's it's an infantry only kind of move. <laughs> four units. Four infantry units of my choice. Wow. Uh, well, there's one, two, three. So all of them are ordered. Um... I'm going to move these guys across here as part of a sort of ganging up on this chap kind of a move. Over here, this guy is going to attack here with uh, one die. Oh, so nearly a miss. And that chap's not doing anything. Allies. Well, that's a good card. So four units of my choice. But there's not a lot of choice. Well, it's going to be those two in the middle here, these two. Um, I don't really want to put... At best, it could be even odds if I move these guys into here, but why? I could use these to try and finish up here. Um, so four units are my choice, and I'm only going to activate these two. These, these two are both going to attack. So if he attacked here, three, two, it would be one die. If he attacked here, it would be three, two, one die. If he attacked here, three, two dice. And across there, three, two, one, minus one. Uh, better odds of getting a kill here. So first, the highest number of dice is the best attack. Two dice from here to the tank. And hopefully not a retreat. <laughs> oh, hang on, look, it's a double retreat. The tank can only retreat one space, one row of hexes. Can't retreat again, counts as a kill. It's an allied win. This could have gone either way. Could have. From the Axis point of view, I think when I was playing them, I made a mistake in bringing the... 
using the behind enemy car lines card to bring the troop down here. I thought it punched through the line and caused mayhem, but they just swamped him. So I think that was a particularly bad play for the Axis. I have to remember that next time. It's behind enemy lines is to run up, do an attack, and then get, get to a good position for wearing down the enemy. Okay. Mon Moucher, an allied victory.